<laughs> Action. Okay. <laughs> that was a quick. That was. Waka, 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 waka. <laughs> Black man. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Hey, guys. Welcome to Homestead Hangout. And you have now reached your third hour of Homestead Hangout. Here with Not For Nothing Homestead with Megan's Fearless Adventures also. So. If you don't have coffee, you need some. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have coffee. Yeah. We also have cookies. cookies. <laughs> That's what I, I baited them. I baited them. <laughs> we decided to make some chocolate chip cookies tonight. Yeah, some Speaking Toll of. House. Chocolate chip cookies. Oh, last, last batch. batch. Oh, last batch is almost twins. done. Okay. <laughs> Twinsies. Yeah. Okay, so we have Xander sliding in. Joe fix it for you. Hello, my dear. Oh, hey, sorry. Johnny. Uh, you're still you're in here too, Megan. Mm -hmm. uh, Kelly, rebel at heart. Hello, hello. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not Dr. Pepper floats. Not tonight. I know. We're we making... do have to get those though. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I actually like root beer floats, so I might get like a single root beer, but just get some vanilla ice cream and Gross. just, uh, it mm -hmm. is really good. No. Hello, Barefoot Gang. How are you? Thank you for coming in, making it home. Hello, Miss Lauren. Hope you guys checked out Lauren's video today. Yeah. What's that video from? That's from our collab. Yes. Home is where the health, health is, is. Because oh. you're getting healthy. <laughs> Are we making a song? Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm in. I'm down. Let's do it. Um, uh, yes. And there is Rebecca, Touched by Yarn. James Hall. Hello. Hello. I heard you. I saw his comment of that he wants to give himself away. Um, hmm? I had put in Johnny and Christine's. Um, chat that if you want to donate anything for a giveaway at 10 killer, please make sure to email me at not for nothing homestead at gmail.com. Cause I'm keeping a running list for everybody um, of all of the prizes that are going to be donated to give, to do giveaways for the raffles and stuff. So he had said something about he wanted to give himself away. Oh, like a date with James Hall. <laughs> no, just give oh. himself away. Oh, okay. The whole thing. All right. It was the kind of funny. There was, yeah, there was a little more to it. And uh, yeah. Did he so, email you? Anyways, but it was funny. No, he that, didn't email oh, me. No. That would have been even he better. He just said it in chat. Full send. Email Full her. Send. Email Actually, me. Actually, those are probably spam emails. <laughs> Uh, there is Leonard Mountain Homestead. Not much. She said, what's up, ladies? Not much. We're just making cookies and eating them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we already had one apiece. We've been in the kitchen. And Dana Mason. Hello. Hello. How are you? Um, we have three dozen, see. Xander. I'm so yes. sorry. Uh, there is Rebecca, Touched by Yarn. Rebecca, I got your emails, both of them. I have not... Um, written them down yet Ooh, oh sorry is that the time thank you for subscribing to my channel rebecca yes thank you very much <laughs> um but yes we are i'm keeping the running total and ooh, yum. yummy one of them looks like a brain, and that's brain. like one of those lunchroom lady size trays i mean they are you huge as they you. say the, the finished product oh, so you can yeah. get real mm -hmm. angry mm -hmm. yeah there you go this looks so good and Dad, have, this is for you. Some have mini chocolate chips, and we didn't have quite enough, so we threw in some big ones, too. <laughs> no rules in this kitchen. No rules. Megan is changing me day by day. No rules. So. We're going to break her, y'all. Okay. Yeah. But, Rebecca, I will. I saw that I got two mails, two emails from you and one from Eric and Missy at Tilted K. Thank you guys very much. Anybody else that wants to donate to the 10 Killer Meetup giveaways, uh, just shoot me an email and let me know what it is that you're giving away so I can add it to the running total, please. Um, there is Jennifer Ocean Homestead, cuddly test, uh, cuddly Texan. Wow. Testing, yeah. uh, testing one, Number two, two three. My I job. don't know. Maybe it's the uh, chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. I'm loving them. They're <laughs> so good. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving them. Um, no. uh, <laughs> mm -mm. There is Dot Roper. These are better than those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, much better. Mm -hmm. Hello, White Rock. How are you? I just left your chat and you're throwing up blue hearts. You told everybody else to throw up blue hearts, too. <laughs> oh, Amy, you got your Dr. Pepper and vanilla ice cream. And root beer. And, yes. Uh -huh. Whoa. The trifecta. She is. So Did you yeah. mix them, though? No. 
No. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's gross. No, right? okay. no, no. no. She's just giving people choices. I like choices too. Yes. Don't give me too many. Just, but I do like choices. Okay. There is Evelyn Newman. Derek Fowler. Hello, hello. You are never late, sir. You are here exactly when you need to be and um, are supposed to be. Nine Acre Family Farm. That is Dale and Nana. Watched your video today. I have not. I guess I did go ahead and comment while I was sitting there. You were walking Sadie and I commented. Yeah. So that was pretty awesome. Angler April 2.0. Yeah. Kicked off today with Dale and Nana, Nine Acre Family Farms. Uh, they will have a, they have a playlist on their channel of um, all of the videos that are going to drop. They're going to have one throughout the month of any kind of kind of seafood uh catch clean cook uh if you can't catch and clean and cook then just maybe the clean and the cook that's fine too any uh like family outings we had some people that did like family fishing trips last year that was really awesome so uh be on the lookout for that because it is a really cool collab and we are part of that as well we need to go on a family yes. fishing trip we do don't we we need to yeah. go sit on the side of the yeah the dock Sitting on the dock of the bay. Um, it's been that a while was. since I fished. So, <laughs> but she yeah. is like, like a wild. You're like Let's melding. Just be honest. You're melding right back into this. I mean, you're doing yeah. so well. You're well, adapting. And, aside from the pollen. Yeah. Aside from the the pollen, we're is, feeling better right now. But earlier today, she was a hot. I was in shambles. She was in a hot mess. And this morning, it was funny because we did craft and chat. I mean, it was not funny, ha ha, but it was mm -hmm. weird. She was like sneezing and everything right before. And she was like, oh my gosh, this is driving me crazy. But I want to be on Craft and Chat. As soon as Craft and Chat started at 10 a.m., she was like, perfect. Not, I mean, not, not one yeah. sneeze. I mean, not 100%, but nothing like she had been doing. As soon as it was over, within two minutes, she was back to it. It's like it knew. It was like so I'm hoping that after this it doesn't do the same thing yeah no so. you've actually been better the last yeah. couple of hours so temperature is dropping a little bit here too renee R moran is in here hello hello lynn the oaky rainy ridge hello rainy ridge thank you very much for coming in i always do that <laughs> well, i don't know why singing me <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't know it. if y'all really want to hear me sing Hello, Jeannie. Hello, hello. Coming over from White Rock. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. James Hall said, mmm, floats. Uh -huh. There is Treasure Hunter Neil. Hello, Ginger Snaps and everyone else. Hello, hello. Troy Sutton. Uh, How's this see. work here? I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> we just chat. Mm -hmm. We just chat and yak about the day and what we've done and what's going on. Thank you, Alexander, for putting up the link. If you want to go get yourself a 10 killer shirt and you want it to get to you before the meetup, follow that link that Alexander put in the chat over there and you can get yourself a cool shirt. They are very nice. They're they were, nice and breathable. Yes. And they were designed by Mickey at Critter Creek, which brings me to something that I need to say. And I don't even know if Mickey is in here. I think, are you behind? Go ahead. I'm Continue. probably, I'm probably way yep, behind. You are. I'm yep. way behind, That's but right. make sure Sherry you Udell. Hey, Sherry. Hello. I got it. The I might files. Hello. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> so Saturday night. So I don't think anyone yeah. will be able to carry me off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, that was what he said. I yeah. Think. <laughs> Saturday right. night we were on chilling with the Gillums. We had to. Oh, um, thank you. Barefoot gang for the subscription. Oh, thank you. You us both you oh thank yeah. you yes yeah um we you said lunchroom lady trace <laughs> <laughs> the big ones that they do the cinnamon rolls they're giant on. i mean those i was big ones. i need one of those <clears throat> um last saturday night we were on chilling with the gilms we did not get xander and jason we need to get y'all some cookies we need to get y'all some what are what you I'm kidding hearing. me tara keeps jason well stocked in everything i know she does related. put some good desserts in front of him and i, I the I'm stanley family Hey, hello, Tim. Tim Mason. Hello, hello. Girl, finish your sentence. I okay. Got well, I got you, this. We can talk at the same time. Okay. No. I don't know. I don't want to over talk you. No, no, no. It, it freaks me out. It makes me stop. No, don't do that. <laughs> um, I just want people to know that we see them. We were in chilling with the Gillums. 
and uh, I had I revealed my Hi, mod sister shirt. So it was the big reveal. Yes, it was the big reveal. So I had contacted what I what I neglected to say was I had contacted Mickey at Critter Creek. And I had told him my idea. I said, Jesse has the shirt that says the mod father over here. Hey, and then it says Jesse over here. Maybe it's the opposite. I don't remember. But anyways, <laughs> I was like, I want to do one since we call each other brother and sister. I want to do it. Do one that says the mod sister. Cause he always calls me his mod sister or his sister. Mm -hmm. So I put mod sister or I told him the vision. We're going to come back to this. So one. he copied it. And except for in mine, the, you know, how it has the, Ooh, James, that sounds good. The little puppet hand for the Godfather logo. Oh, um, Amy, thank you for asking. The thumbnail She's is good. painted red. For, it's so cute. Like a sister. So I had the big reveal, but I wanted to credit Mickey with credit for, with Critter Creek, excuse me, for coming up with that and for oh. putting that all together because he is the one that did that. Um, I forgot he did. So I went to one place to have it um, put on a shirt. He, hey, Christy. And um, they denied it for copyright <laughs> reasons. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, okay, what am I going to do now? So then I went to a different place and then yet a different place. And so now I have like... <laughs> five mod sister shirts. <laughs> uh, yeah. So at this point I am ginger. Um, and I she said, said, I don't care. I'm wearing one of those shirts. Yeah. Like you have five of them. I am a ginger. I would like one. Thank I you. I'm a ginger. It tracks. It yeah. tracks well. Yeah. No, and people will be looking at you going, are you really, your, is your name really ginger? That's probably what they'll say. No, people always ask me, um, Hey Sherry, People always ask me, what's your mom's name? Or I'll say, yeah, my mom, Ginger. And they're like, no. And they double take. And I'm like, yes. It, yes. <laughs> go ahead. Roast me. <laughs> yes. On. Her name is Ginger. And now I'm a Ginger. It happened like that. I, it's happenstance. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> mm. I need the Mod Father logo for a special project. Ooh, uh, Christine. <laughs> well, all right. Um, we're at the bottom. Oh, nice. Good job. You were awesome. Got you, girl. Thank you. Because I want to talk about things. Okay. Scott asked, how are the oinkers? They are getting fat. Mm -hmm. I mean, fat. Now, this is the saddest thing. Okay. This there's is something what, sad. Yeah, there's something sad. What's well, that? I feel bad for Daisy. I mean, they're okay. getting fat. They're taking every bit of her food, her food from her. She's over there trying to get a drink. Uh -huh. Off of the the fifty gallon water bottle out of the pig nipple, she, and they can all operate that pig nipple no problem now. So every one of them are used to it. They're all eating the same food she eats. They're like five six weeks old eating the same food she eats, but yet still eating from her as well. Still nursing. They she was over there trying to get a drink all by herself. I do that. And there's two of them that came yeah. up. And while she's drinking, they're trying to drink off her. And I'm like, can the girl get five minutes alone to get a drink? I tried. This is ridiculous, I've been guys. trying to get up early for her. <laughs> hey, so I Kelly. Can feed her in hopes that they'll be in bed still. In mm -hmm. bed. Oh, my God. Asleep in, in the their pen. little pen. Yeah. And leave her alone. But she gets so excited about food. A lot like me. Um, she makes a lot of noise. <laughs> she does she aggressive food. eat like mm -hmm. you do too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have to excuse myself a lot from eating in front of people. Anyways, uh, oh my God, we have big on, on Sunday. Huh? Oh, no, I'm scared. For oh yes, on we have biggins on Sunday. With um, several anyways, people. So, um, <coughs> yeah, they they they're they're showing her no mercy. But mm -hmm. anyways, they come out right behind her when she makes her noises and all that stuff. They want everything to do with what their mom has to do. And I, it drives me nuts because, um, you know what, Dale, that's a great point. What? Um, but Daisy, she's a different breed of pig then. And yeah, because she sleeps. <laughs> she will sleep. But then when she hears the bucket, she's waking up. And yeah. <laughs> she don't care. 100. It doesn't matter what time mm -hmm. it is. But they get to feed off both things. So that's where I feel bad about because, yes. I mean, she can't. 
milk she herself. Can't, she can't so like that's milk. just not gonna. I mean, Dale, you got I any just, suggestions on that how that can work? Weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, walk down there and no, she's like, he actually I'm said. Hungry. <laughs> he actually said at this point they're almost about ready to where they could just be. I earlier yeah, see Christy. I swear, Christy said pigs are nocturnal. I didn't know that. That's all pigs. <laughs> um, I swear I saw her trying to get out of her pen and into the other pen earlier. Like, get me away. I'm mm-hmm. done. I'm yes. good. So I'm out of here. Other news about the center pen. So, you know, we built the two pins on the one on one side that Daisy and could go and have the piglets built her a little house. Then on the other side, we built one for Link and for Wilbur. And then we let that middle pin rest. Well, I don't know if you guys remember that <laughs> it was after it was after Halloween, after I believe it was after Thanksgiving. Uh, in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, there was a local farm stand that gave me all thank you, Miss Christine, of their leftover uh, pumpkins. I mean, they gave me spaghetti squash. They gave me sugar pumpkins, the little tiny ones. They gave me medium pumpkins. They gave me heirloom pumpkins. They were white. They were purple. Uh, not purple. They were um, orange. They were uh, a darker, almost a red, like a burnt orange. Every size, shape you can imagine. Some of them looked like um, butternut squashes, but they were pumpkins. Oh my gourd. Yeah. Oh my gourd. Oh my yes. Gourd. They were everywhere. So we would chuck them down there one or two a day, give them because, you know, it's a natural. Um, um, ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Moving along. Natural dewormer <laughs> okay. for pigs. Oh, sorry. Really? I, I was hung up on that. Yeah. Wow. I was like, what is it? Yes. It helps. No, helps. that's essential. No, pumpkin help to naturally deworm them. So pumpkin palooza. <laughs> it was, uh, we were down there taking some hay down there. Now nobody's been in that pen for about a month now. Maybe, what, well, did we say a month or maybe? A little bit more, I think. Maybe six weeks. Nobody's mm-hmm. been in that pen for six well, since weeks. before the piglets were born. Yeah, so if so they're the, six weeks, so it's about seven weeks. Because we got her in there just in time. Yeah. Um, so about seven weeks, no pigs have been in there. <laughs> Not only is there grass growing, but there are pumpkins growing in there. <laughs> I'm in shock. Like, it's going to be the a vines. real life pumpkin patch. Yes, it is going to be pumpkin city. I cannot tell you, you go in there and I start, I went in there to weed eat the grass because the grass is growing really beautifully in there. Um, Cause we had just put a lot of hay down and it's rained quite a few times. Nobody's in there trampling it. So now the grass is like gorgeous. Yeah. It's beautiful. So green mm-hmm. and it's so vibrant and thick luscious. and yeah. Luscious. You want to lay in it, but then you remember what was in there. Yeah. So that's going <laughs> to be a poop. no for me. So mm. <laughs> anyway, so I went in there to weedy to kind of, you know, knock it all kind of hopefully spread it out. See the other areas that were kind of blotchy and i was like whoa i jerked the weed eater back i was like what is that and then i started and you know how it is like when you're looking for a leaf once you see one then you see them everywhere i had stepped on one or two i mean there they were and they are literally everywhere i bet you there are 20 plants in that pig pen so that place is just gonna be nothing but a vine of pumpkins and they get wild vines like pumpkin plants there were every get wild soccer moment they were eating pumpkin spice latte with everything (laughs) (laughs) yes (laughs) take the baby baby pigs to 10 killer that will get that will get the piggies gone gone. yes that's but i'm already got a few that are going there (laughs) that they have a destination though i have four that have a destination so that's good <clears throat> and they're so sweet and they're There's so two that's cute. got another destination they're going south and they are just getting chunky rumpers they are they're so cute and <laughs> one got out sorry yeah that's gotta be on super yeah low. go ahead um one got out uh, about two weeks ago you, you want to push that blue one too turn that light off in there one got out about two weeks ago. Kitchen's and, close for the night. Yeah, just it's done. FYI. Shut Don't it ask down. for any more cookies. Shut it down. That's to y'all, not to her. <laughs> she can have whatever she wants. <laughs> I made the batter. She does the cooking. That's, that's I do the, the sequence. The stirring. 
She does the folding Somewhat. in of the chocolate chips. The mixer does the stirring. Let's oh, yeah. be honest. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't know if anybody watches that show Shits Creek. And no. um it's not spelled like the curse word. It's spelled, no, you know what I mean. Yes. That's their last name. So, anyways, um, sorry I cut you off, but no. this is so funny. The the mom's name is Moira, and she's so like I, I don't know, she's just like extra extra uh -huh. and so she's trying to teach her son to cook and he's like very curt with her and he's just like mom what does that even mean because she's like fold it in the cheese <laughs> and he's like what does that mean and she's like i don't know david it's on the recipe <laughs> and it just says fold it in so fold it in and he's like but i don't know how to fold it it's hilarious it's hilarious it's, it's a whole skit it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. So yeah. if anybody knows Shit's Creek, please, please help me out here. <laughs> I know. We literally, the two of us. Amy, please tell me you know this show. You're laughing because you know this show. Yeah, do you? When you said fold in the chocolate chips, it triggered me <laughs> to that scene. To that it's memory. hilarious. It's uh, such a good show. <laughs> I love it. But yes, so Anyways. the mixer does it. <laughs> she Then she folds in the chips. She scoops <laughs> and cooks. And of course, you know. Megan has no clock that no. she goes by. No. She's like, it's a Megan clock. It's called, it's up <gasps> here. Lauren said, that's, I watched every this, episode. See, this is how I knew we had a very similar sense of humor because girl, <laughs> tell me that show is not so funny for no reason. Like absolutely no reason. I have Moira on my um, refrigerator Oh, geez. at home. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh my God. She's so funny. And then uh, Alexa. She's so, oh my god. Oh, when she's talking oh my god, to Alexa. David. Like that's his sister. And she's she's also extra. Oh very. Lord. just like her mama. Yeah. Oh no, gosh. it is hilarious. <laughs> it's a good show. They have like a a big cast, meaning like um well-rounded yeah. actors that yeah. have been in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll have to look it up later. Okay. Yeah. It it's might on be. YouTube. It's on I know I watched it on Netflix. But there you go. Yeah, there's quite a a few seasons was so. it it wasn't it on regular tv to start yes. with okay. yeah so and it's a few years old i'm sure oh yeah i don't thank you out with any... thank you mods for dropping all these links i greatly appreciate that the creators of another one have you seen ghosts no i just saw that um this morning when i was in the gym i try to get caught up on shows when i'm on the treadmill because you know like you just zone out so yeah um it's mindless work. Yeah, no. Well, this not when you're at like seven incline, and no. I mean, that still oh, okay. feels like ten incline. Though, yeah. So. I told her I need to start walking up it backwards. Yeah. So I I saw it, and if you've seen it, let me know if it's good, and I will watch it tomorrow morning when I go to the gym. <laughs> okay. She keeps so stuff in her queue. <laughs> Dan Dan Levy and Eugene Levy. Do you know who Eugene Levy is? Mm, I don't think so. Not by name like that. Oh yeah. Oh my. Okay. Gosh. So his son. Hysterical. His son is it's done in the show oh isn't that funny me? and that's oh my gosh. annie murphy is the daughter and Catherine o'hara she's from um, home alone yes she's the mom moira yeah it's <laughs> oh that's so funny Damn. ghosts will slay you too oh, funny okay. so apparently it. it is hysterical okay well if they're the, from the <laughs> creators and yeah sorry mom you're like this is no that's okay remember uh do you remember when gilmore girls we felt we oh watched gilmore girls religiously do you remember when they cut the show and then uh amy sheridan pellegrino started another show called ballerina but no it was called buns that one was pretty good too did it uh, only have it, like one it, season it, yeah it only lasted yeah. like okay. one maybe two seasons but pretty much just one mm -hmm. i think so but i get it i get addicted to shows like yes. hyper fixated yeah. so if it's not a lengthy show or if it's a show i can keep up with as the seasons come out mm -hmm. i will binge watch a whole season mm -hmm. a day. <laughs> like no joke depending on mom well, if it's like 27 episodes no okay but if it's like 10 <laughs> i will binge watch it in a day oh i know i love gilmore girls, gilmore girls that was so my good. favorite one yes that absolutely oh i love that show yeah. and i still have the box sets of the DVDs um, of all the old ones. So there's that. Oh my God. Um, so many Luke Steiner t shirts mm, and Gilmore yes. Girls shirts. Oh my God. I still have my big, huge Gilmore Girls coffee cup. It's oh. like a Lorelei. So, uh, 
massage, yeah. coffee cup. Yes. You are the real life Lorelai. Yes. So Some like, days. Yeah. I feel like. Uh, no, for real. Like, Luke, where's my coffee? Yes. Where's my coffee? <laughs> <laughs> and that's mm. Luke. <laughs> Fixing everything. Yes. Exactly. Mm -mm. Oh, anyways. Um, yeah, I think Funnier everybody likes Gilmore Girls. It. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll have to watch it. Uh, I'll it start sounds it good. Tomorrow. It yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if they have the reruns of the one you're talking about on the seasons on YouTube. I bet you they probably do. Yeah, probably. At some point. Um, so uh, what else? We, we've been cooking all day. Yeah. I mean, like cooking and doing good stuff. Well, so we have our collab. Oh. Um, we've that. mentioned already once. but Yes, our collab. collab. Home is where the health is. So our collab my video drops tomorrow but it we does. had lauren today yes we i'm working backwards here so we had um natasha yes with the budget preppers yesterday yes we had tom garvey on, yep three days ago yes i don't know what the days are anymore <laughs> and then we had mom kick it off today god that was hard to go backwards yeah. <laughs> anyways we've had some really great recipes yes. i'm still already floored by the the ginger ale like that absolutely threw me that you did a drink and i loved it mm -hmm. any of those out of the box ideas i'll tell you i had a dead set idea i knew exactly what i was doing from day one when we came up with this collab i was like yes i'm gonna go for it i want to do it um and at the last minute i incorporated something different <laughs> it's just so like like so me to, <laughs> to go right off the rails mm -hmm. so i said why not just do both so yeah. you're gonna get a twofer. Yes, How you're exciting. getting a twofer out of Megan, not out of me, because mm -hmm. you just got granola from me. But you're gonna get a twofer out of Megan, and you're gonna love them both. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna love them both. It's a, me. it's a dinner dessert. Shh. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. You could just follow the whole video through your entire night. Is yes, what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. it just segues straight into dessert while you're cooking dinner. So, <laughs> and I love the biggest thing that I like hit home in this video without giving so much away. Yeah. But just the premise of like talking about dessert when it comes to health is so like taboo. People don't want to talk about it just because like it's generally dessert involves sugar, sugar. Mm -hmm. or people do a lot of sugar free alternatives that they're like, that's gross or it has a lot of added stuff or like Miss Christine said with the, um, saltwater taffy that I got from yes. it has an adverse effect on your yes. stomach. Yeah. Um, but the biggest thing is you just, things have to come in moderation. And yes. I hate that saying because people are probably like, what is moderation? Yeah. <laughs> but just the, the best advice I can ever give is look at the serving size that the label has cut it in half. Yeah. Cut it in half. If you don't need all of it, don't use all of it. Right. Like we, Hey, look Deborah. at that as a milestone, but like cut it in half, then yes. you can still have it and not feel so guilty about it. Yes. Because the thing is, if you deny yourself too long and everything yeah. and not just give yourself a little grace mm -hmm. and a little bit of something, um, then you're just going to completely fall off the wagon. That and like you really develop a really sad, uncomfortable, bad relationship with food. Okay. And I thought you were going to say the bathroom, but oh, I'm glad no. you didn't. No, no, no. With food. <laughs> like, I feel like the relationship with food is important. I mean, like, yes. I just, I don't even, like, I mean, this can turn into a very emotional talk. I won't yeah. cry, but like, no, other no. people might. I don't yeah. know because that, it's a very sensitive topic. But like, yeah. when I was younger, I like really wanted to be like super skinny because I felt that that was, um, parallel with healthy and it's not like your mm -hmm. body is different our bodies are different yeah I mean we wear the same size pants and you'd never know yeah. just because we our bodies look totally different and I think that that's when you're trying to reach a goal based off of one body type and one person mm -hmm. it's going to be unattainable but I mean I remember like trying to ration myself food mm -hmm. when I got to the point where I was like in my upper middle school and mm -hmm. like I'd come home and you'd be like all right get your snacks kids like mm -hmm. whatever and I'd be like all right I'm only gonna have 10 crackers yeah like little things like that and if you do that to yourself mm -hmm. you're really it's gonna mess with you like yeah. really bad I mean it's a it's a like a wonder that my relationship with food isn't worse and I'm yeah. thankful for that <laughs> yeah. um 
But I know a lot of people don't come out at the end that way. Yeah. And that's hard. It's hard and to you come have back been from. My adventuresome kid as far as eating. I have said that forever and ever. Um, because I'm kind of like in a in a rut as far as I, I was kind of in a rut as far as food goes. And so they would get the same same snacks, same this, same hey, that. Regina. Um, <clears throat> so it I was glad that she actually thought outside the box and did things a little bit different. Christy laughed because I said bathroom. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bad relation bathroom. I'm like, are you really going to go there? <laughs> James, <clears throat> I have to tell you something. I had the same thing happen to me today, only from almost 24 hours ago. I got a notification this morning for MT Homestead's live from last night about two hours before this live what? i got a notification of brian the vineyard farmhouses live from last night saying it's going live oh, oh james said he did too and i'm wow. like nah man wow. that, this has already happened like last night i good thing i already know that they're live and i watch them uh, because if not, yeah, they're like the next day behind. I have no idea why that is. He said he, uh, a little ways back up. He said he just got notification that White Rock was live. Oh, wow. And they're already over. Yeah. So I am not sure what all is going on with that. That is a little bit crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Christy has noticed it too. She said, I've noticed that as well. Mm -hmm. So anyways, but yeah, so healthy food journey. Yes. Talking about what you eat, what you what put you in can your do. body, yes. what you can do to be healthier, not necessarily depriving yourself, actually yes. not depriving yourself at all. Mm -hmm. I would be lying if I didn't say I eat Taco Bell. Yeah. I love Taco <laughs> Bell. Okay. I have a very fond relationship Panda with breast. potato chips. <laughs> That's If you and ever try to dip. take potato chips away from me, you will rue the day. And yeah. Okay? Potato hopefully chips you're not any kind. Hopefully you're not fond of the limb that you're reaching for them with. Yeah, I might turn into a pig that day. <laughs> and just snap you yeah, right off because I cannot. No. Potato chips are it all day long. But it's, again, it's a ration thing. Yeah. You have to ration yourself and, and do give yourself some sometimes to spoil. Yeah. And a lot of people say too, like when they start eating really healthy, like trying to clean eat a hundred percent. I love lace chips too. Oh my God. Don't please don't get me started on potato <laughs> chips right now. I will give you all the recommendations of all the size bags of how I ration myself this or what's anyways. Um, a lot of people say don't do cheat days mm -hmm. because then it's again, a mental game of yes. like, now I can splurge mm -hmm. and then you end up when I started doing that and I felt so sick because mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, this is a horrible day. And so I ended up hating cheat days. Yeah. But second is you overindulge. And so you run the risk of really like working into binge eating mm -hmm. and starting yourself down that path of yes. binge eating or, oh my gosh, I'm doing all this work to, to be able to work for my cheat day. Yeah. Um, or I'll do extra work in the gym <laughs> to be able to eat another burger on my cheat day. Yeah. Don't yeah. do that. Just eat no. what you want to eat when you want to eat it, but be mindful. <laughs> and Regina is in here. Regina Fowler. <laughs> uh oh. So hello, Miss Regina. Yeah, or Derek, Gina. You yeah. He said, uh oh, wife's in the chat. I can't show out. No, you better not. <laughs> she is a younger version of me. She really is. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I do love, I like barbecue legs. Oh, yeah. I love mm -hmm. them. They're so good. I've never met a potato chip I do not like. Flavor. Neither. Actually, that's uh, a lie. That is a lie. Salt and vinegar. Salt. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Absolutely okay. not. It, salt and vinegar lovers, out. Immediately. <laughs> just, Look, the chat just dropped. Yeah, literally. Discreetly <laughs> exit yourself, okay? Because no, absolutely I, not. I, salt and I vinegar. can't do those, but I know there are people out there that absolutely <laughs> love them. But there are, um, like, I don't like cheese puffs, Ugh. but I love Cheetos. Wait, like Cheetos cheese puffs? Yeah, the big ones. I uh, I can't do those. Yeah, What's it's, wrong with you? It's too much air and nothing. And 
Yeah, yeah I don't it makes like you feel this. like you're not eating anything. No. Again, mentally. No, you're like, because there's all kinds of crud caked on these two fingers by the time I get eat it, done eating that nothing. Dale, is it Dale and Nana? Because what's up? Get right. up and get I'm out. gone. Get out. <laughs> Immediately get out. <laughs> Plain lace chips on tuna casserole is awesome. <laughs> that, I have not had that in so long. I know that is. That is a good meal. That is. Mm -hmm. That tuna casserole. That is a yeah. that is an age old uh hey Tim. The diner. You better not back. <laughs> she uh, we're in the same boat. She don't like Either. So it's gonna no. take two of y'all to hold us both down because yeah i'm not this is not the okra thing i don't do the salt and vinegar See, i just i don't know why i just don't i mean i'm not like as aggressive about it as she is, is. Yeah. i just i'll just pick a different bag <laughs> no, salt and vinegar is nasty. kettle chips love kettle chips mm -hmm. love the jalapeno yes they're a little hot and they get on your lip and then it's like Mm, my lips on fire my lips on fire <laughs> but i want more it's the <laughs> chip yes but i want another one you know what's weird i don't really care for cheetos but i love cheese puffs it's like the opposite is you oh that's funny yeah i will eat them every once in a while i had the first bag that i've had in probably years mm -hmm. like three weeks ago oh wow yeah i feel like a bad influence were you here then no Okay, good. Notice I said bag <laughs> because that's the only serving size for chips. Yeah. One whole bag. <laughs> One whole bag. That Ow. is something I do not look at the serving size for. Oh, wow. Okay. Chips. <laughs> Dad, you're with us too, salt and vinegar chips? Okay, cool. We've never had those in our house, I feel like. No. And mm -hmm. those stupid, nasty Fritos. What are those? Those nasty brown bag Fritos. What are they? The brown bag Fritos. You know, I'm talking about the barbecue Fritos. No, the honey barbecue or whatever those are. Those oh, are so yeah, good. no, no. But well, what are the ones that we used to get in the bag, and then we'd have a million at the end? Oh, of it. the little twists. They were no, chili are, something. Oh, chili Fritos. They chili, weren't twists, but no. they were twists. Were yeah, they? the chili ones. Well, maybe they weren't. I don't know. But yeah, no. <laughs> uh, hey, you are on um, fire, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> That's what he says, right? I don't know what to do with my hands. Yeah, he literally. <laughs> Good for you, Val. No chips in six months. Could mm. not be me. Nope. Mm. I will do an extra 10 minutes for another. Yes, bag of see, chips. I told you. Stop with living without. I do eat pork skins because they have zero carbs. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Because mm -hmm. you would think they would be the most fattening things to eat. Dad does know what's good, Dale, just so you know. But he also, I don't know if you can trust the man whose diet is literally cosmic brownies all day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hungry? Need a snack? Yeah. Cosmic brownie. Want dessert? Cosmic brownie. Haven't had lunch yet? Cosmic brownie. <laughs> it's the answer for everything. Breakfast? I'll be having two cosmic brownies. <laughs> uh, wow. You act like he never gets fed anything else. I Oh, options are there. Yeah, oh, I know. He just doesn't take them. No. He's no, the because stuff. there's cosmic brownies there. <laughs> Derek eats the barbecue Fritos with potted meat. Oh, okay. Wait, so I don't the barbecue think I can do that. Fritos. Let me look. Because there's a bag that are very good, that are the twists. Mm. And um, Ooh, I could miss them Vicky's. all day. Yes, those are good. Honey barbecue, yeah, that's what they are. Okay, now I'm on. <laughs> I'm with him. Love cosmic brownies. Okay, so I guess they are the honey barbecue twists. But you're right. The chili ones are nasty. Oh wow, Chris is making his root beer float at the moment. Yes, Ooh. go Chris, go. Remember, ice cream first, then you pour the root beer in. You can't try to dollop the the ice cream into the root beer. It won't work work right and you'll make a mess yeah it'll be no but you'll never be able to get enough ice cream in the float oh because you'll it's like ice you know you'll already have it overflowing so ice cream first then the root beer did i hear pork rinds <laughs> <laughs> she was just talking about you earlier today tom <laughs> i want you crush up pork rinds it could be us dale and I think you use Crafting them is like that. for uh, pasta, right? To instead of flour, you use pork rinds. You did it. I know. I know. I'm not dreaming this because I mean I watch every oh, wow. single one of your wow, videos. That's awesome. Um, for I mean, he has so many great cooking ideas and things that you can change and you can change flavor in it, but also change the makeup of it. Mm -hmm. 
So it's amazing. But <laughs> sorry, guys, that we're blurry. I don't oh, know what's going on with our connection. We? Oh, yeah. darn. Yikes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't know what's going on either. I don't know if we're in a bad spot. Um, and that is not even like oh, going. Oh, Tom said he uses it for breading too. Oh, oh you did say you. that. Yes. Today, didn't you? Yes. Sorry, I don't mean to be. No, it's okay. <laughs> Knock me out. Okay. It's all right. She, I, <laughs> yeah, when I came in from the gym, she was in ready to full fight mode. No, I was not. I just said, did you have a good workout? And she was like, what are you coming for me? And I'm like, no, I'm just asking <laughs> if you had a good workout. Jeez, don't shoot the messenger at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Christy, so that's, that's a that's good awesome. thing too, though. What's that? Uh, trying to gain weight. I mean, it's all about yes. what goals you have. So yes. some people try to listen. <laughs> You're going to have to sometimes too. Yeah. RJ was couldn't put on a pound to save his life. And yeah. then he just started packing in the chicken and the rice and the beans. And Hey, Nanny Tam. Hey, Nanny Tam. How are you? You are not late, my dear. Thank you very much for coming in. Funyuns and bean dip. Oh, God. I love Funyuns and I love me some bean dip with I some don't know Frito about scoops. Together. No, yeah, not together, mm -hmm. but both Funyuns? of those. Funyuns, yes. All day long, I can do some Funyuns. Don't they have. Um, <laughs> oh, Biggins has some pork skins that are delicious. Do they really? Yes, they make their own. Oh, I never had them. Oh, they're delicious. Oh, yes. I will be eating we'll very get some. improperly. So anybody who is coming to see us on oh, Sunday, good. there better be no videotaping of me eating. Yeah, we're all going to video you aggressive no, eating. Because I will not have a napkin. And oh, thank you, Tom. I'm glad you are liking this collab. Hey, if you want to throw another one in there, feel free. I'm Dale. got no problem with that. I said, Christy, I'll give you all my extra weight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. James, I wish I was your twins. I'm not sure who she's talking to. Lynn. Well, I don't have twin kids. Mm, no, I do, but I mean, yeah. I mean, it's just right quick. I'm not sure. Did you know you were? Oh, like when you were? Oh, when I was pregnant with the twins. Yeah. Did I know I was having twins? Uh, uh at about um, I was very much. I, I was a lot sicker than I was with the other two. Uh, so yes, I went in and they did an ultrasound very early and they said oh there's multiples and i said multiple what what are you talking about <laughs> i'm not sure what we're discussing here i'm thinking why am i getting sick constantly every single morning and i never did before mm. um but so anyways then uh yeah they said multiple babies so you'll be visiting us every two weeks period from start and then Usually you only go once a month, you know, through the first probably six, seven months. And then you start going every other week and then you go every week. No, I went every other week and then I went to every week and then I kind of went to a couple days between appointments. That was oh, crazy. Man. Hey, Hot Creek. Yes. Hello. Hello. That's crazy. Thank you for coming in. So, yes, that was that was super fun. <laughs> you just took me back a day or two. Yeah. Would you recommend it? <laughs> Twins. Would I recommend twins? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you kind of don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, honestly, yeah. My mom's blood pressure yeah. was so high, so the doctor opted not to tell her. Mm. She didn't find out she was having twins until two weeks before we were born. That was in 1977. What? Oh, That's wow. That's crazy. I'm sure a doctor would get in trouble these days for not probably for that. yeah for not divulging that you got two two babies in there oh my goodness i i keep forgetting that uh gina's a twin Derek's wife know. is a twin yeah. yeah that's cool um mine are not identical they are fraternal are you and your sister identical i had twins but one passed away at 15 weeks oh yeah 14 now oh ellie may is such a cute name oh that oh, is my a gosh. cute name that's so pretty Yes. Uh, Tom asked, how are the piggies? Yum, yum. Yes. <laughs> they are doing very good. Uh, they're about to be dispersed to their said homes. <laughs> they're both evil twins. Derek, you better watch. Mind your manners. You're in chat. Remember, don't be showing out. <laughs> She'll come for you. Uh, but they are getting so chunky. Oh, my gosh. We'll have to do a, a short tomorrow of the piglets because you would not believe it. Even the runt looks 
like a chunky. Yeah, no, it's getting big and it's I mean, good. Like I was really for a moment oh, yes. there like a little worried about it. But yeah. I mean, it is. Yeah, she's rounding out, getting long and round. And, mm -hmm. I mean, one of them likes to lay in the bowl. It yeah. isn't the runt, but likes to lay in the bowl, but eat in the other bowl. Because <laughs> so we like, have like two trough size <laughs> style bowls side by side. We had to screw them down. Joey had to screw them down to a pallet and then like n nail the pallet to the, not nail it, screw the pallet to the fence with another board behind it because they were all just destroying everything. Yeah. Taking it, moving so it across like the pin, doing whatever. Two little pallets side by side. And uh, yeah. So one is laying in one bowl over <laughs> all of, of the, the food. food so that nobody can get that food but while also divulging in the other food smart because I, I want that smart food. yeah <laughs> i'm one of the other big ones <laughs> two times where i've gone down there to take them some little treats <laughs> treaties um some some good snacks she and i'm trying to really get a science on this because if you go straight into the bowl with it all fifty-two thousand of them it feels like there's fifty-two thousand of them down there we'll just bum rush and get in it and over it and scrap it at each other so mm -hmm. I'm trying to like fling things yes. and um, I maybe flung something in one of, on one of their noses that was round shaped and I felt really bad. I couldn't get it off for a minute mm -hmm. and then it kind of took it and snuck off into the corner. <laughs> they're smart. They're getting, they're yeah. getting where they know. <laughs> they are. They are. And they know Megan when she comes down there that she, she's just like her dad. She shows her love through food to all the animals. Oh yeah, the dogs, the chickens, the rooster. That's he, my buddy. He now dances at the fence. He's kind of like that showing his sexy buddy. feathers for her, and he will dance right at the fence line. And she'll stick her hand through and just pet him, mm -hmm. and he'll dance up, and then he'll dance back. He and I'm pecked like, at me the other day, but it was just an accident. It was. Yeah, I know it He's was so an accident. Sweet. He didn't mean it, and no. I told mom that, and she got nervous, but. Um, oh, dad, sorry. No, no, no. Dad said raising a girl is much easier than raising twins. Oh, I yeah. really, yeah. The, wow, this yeah. is the first time I'm hearing that raising <laughs> me was easy. Okay, <laughs> the boys were just exhausting. I mean, I was tired for four years. <laughs> I mean, pork rinds just, and training. Yes, so. they are. I've been accused of having twins because my belly is so big. Derek, oh my oh, goodness, stop, stop it. <laughs> um, James, no, I am not. <clears throat> Megan is I'm not the, the baby. Yeah, she is. I well, I mean, child syndrome. If you consider the twins, the last two, you know, or the last one birth, she is the middle child. Yeah. yeah. So. It's <laughs> hmm. Hey, Web's um, Web. Yeah, that's funny. Yes, uh, twins do I skip a generation. Easy, said easier. Uh, yeah, you I always have to humble me this way. I, I have, I had twins, and then my grandmother had twins. So yes, it skips a generation. That's what they say, and I've actually seen it to be true as well. So, anyways, uh, hey Webs Web, how are you doing? Uh. They didn't say it was easy. They said it was easier. That's what I'm saying. He's cooking me right now. He is cooking you, isn't he? Is he is cooking me. Yeah. You can't just let me have my one moment that yeah. they've actually given me. Yeah. She said, I don't understand. I've never heard those words come out of anybody's mouth. No. <laughs> Ginger, Even I don't think day. my family got that message. Sorry. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so not always. I'm sure oh, about wow. the twin generation thing. Yeah, because Southwest Living with Val said my mom had twins and then I had twins. Oh, wow. Oh, awesome. I didn't know that. I have two boys. I was hoping one would be a girl and one would be a boy. And then we'd have a, an equal number of girls and boys, girls versus boys in the house. That did not work. And it went to the testosterone side. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of my friends are great sisters for me. But I don't know that I could have done with an, a sister. Yeah, I'm thinking not. Yeah, I think I think I don't know that dad could have handled <laughs> us, another one of us. No. I <laughs> think your personality is too big for there to be another girl 
because that is the one thing you could lay claim to. There were no other girls. I don't know if it's She's my like, personality or my head. It's the middle child. I'm the middle child. Yeah, but you're the only girl. Yeah. The only girl. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I did get pushed into doing a lot of boy things, though. Um, I'm not mad about it. Oh. Well, no, I'm not, not mad about it. But, yeah. I mean, I was definitely, like, a tom girl mm -hmm. growing up for a long yeah. period of time. Yes. Um, but you followed RJ around. Oh, yeah. everywhere so you wanted yeah. to do what he did too um and my father was, like, was a twin says james that's awesome did you i had a second cousin that was pregnant four times and had seven seven children three sets of twins uh twin boys and a girl wow i know you're not talking gourd head <laughs> who dale Pro for having twins is tax season. Yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> that was the only thing. There was no buy one, get one free. Uh-uh. That didn't happen. Um, <laughs> Tom. <laughs> see, James, you're right. See? Ah, uh, the only girl. That's why she's special. I'm also the only one with red hair. So I think that that also makes me special. <laughs> yeah. Tom, it's a I'm dog sure. eat dog world here. I have to come up with reasons why I'm special. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. con for having twins as you stay broke the rest of the year. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you get a little bit of money at tax season and then you're broke the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. And Tom's mother said, thank God he wasn't a twin. She couldn't handle two of him. So I bet you were a handful. That, but also what you open up in the kitchen, I would, I would take two of you any day. Not, <laughs> now. Yes. Yeah, but you don't Tom know. Now. He might he might have been the one of those ones that yes had to go had to go pick his own switch and he got his tail tore up in the yard on a daily basis, probably. I'm, I don't know. I'm waiting for the day that you tell me to do that on the homestead. Now, no, no. Go find something, okay? And I'm gonna sweat and sweat and sweat the entire walk. I'm telling you, this this kid of mine because I still feel that she is a kid does more than her fair share of the work around here i'm a go she pulls a lot of kid. weight no <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> i was a real surprise my brother was 11 years older than me and my sister is 15 years older than me my parents were almost 40 when i was born wow see that's what i said about the boys you know Derek, you were the oops baby. Everybody has a oops baby. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people have an oops baby. I got an oops and an oopsie. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. Dad said 16, 16 what? Kids? No way. No. Suburban Hillbilly said my great aunt had 16. <laughs> Get a my grandma had a eight. Small one. Yeah. Uh, I was, came from a very large, I mean, the families in Virginia, they had just kept having kids and then the oldest raised the youngest and then the mama just kept having kids i do so, feel like that one uh reunion we went to mm -hmm. in tennessee mm -hmm. we went to dolly world that there were so many people there yes i was like who are all these people oh my god i think grandma goldie had she had like 16 or 17 kids Good Lord. yeah i'm telling when i say the oldest raise the youngers i'm not i'm not lying that's how it went oh my gosh we had 10 <laughs> five boys five girls that creek said <laughs> wow <laughs> what four was enough for me rainy ridge i'm with you on that one no did you see what else <laughs> no what did he say wow well, rebecca you're rebecca why well, can't talk rebecca <laughs> your <laughs> uncle couldn't pull out of a driveway <laughs> dale uh -huh. Dale, don't make me use your government name now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, that would be uh, Southwest Living Without. That would be like twins. Megan was six. You're six years older than the boys. Yeah, I was in Canada. Yeah, she was six years old when the boys were born. And yeah. That there was quite a bit. I was like, dang, man, there's been diapers out of this house for so long now. Haven't had to buy formula. Haven't had to buy any of that. Yeah. I cried. So, oh, you cried. You cried. I cried. Give me a break. <laughs> Carry them around for a year. Then tell me about how you cried tears. I cried. And they told <laughs> us I cried. She and then I hugged her belly. So. <laughs> she got over it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. she, yeah. and then i cried because i couldn't be there yeah i was yeah and i was wearing my big sister shirt 
Oh. At the exact same time. It's funny how like memories come back crystal clear like that I know. For you. And they'll just boom hit yeah. you like that. No, I remember then. wearing that shirt and being so proud. And then y'all being like, sorry, if you can't come, you're going to Disney instead. And I was like, I don't wanna. I don't I don't even to want to go to Disney. Yeah. I want to see my brothers come mm, out of and, that stomach and right yeah, now. Nope. No. Yeah. That was even I didn't want to watch that because they were that I had a C section with them. So no, you didn't want to see that. <laughs> I'm sure dad watched, but oh, I'm sure God. it kind of made him a little queasy. But Literally, I was like, nah, I don't want to watch. He's just he as actually, queasy as me. How no, could he even oh, watch that's that? so funny that you just said that because he was watching and mm -hmm. he he was like standing over looking over the cloth, mm -hmm. you know, that they put up like in front of me. I was laying down mm -hmm. and he was looking over and he goes, Are you feeling it? He said to me, Are you feeling okay? Is your stomach upset? And I was like, Man, I feel a little queasy right now. He said, Yeah, that's just because he has your stomach in his hand right now. I was like, Huh? <laughs> and he, he told you put that it back in my body, please. The fact yeah. that you couldn't feel it and he had mm. to tell you, I feel like I'd, Dad, I would have been so I know because I had, you know, the spinal block or whatever to, to block all the nerves and everything. Yeah. From the waist below but the fact that i could still feel the nausea was what was really weird but funny at the same time i mean time. his stomach your stomach was literally in his he hand. literally had my stomach yeah. in his hand <laughs> yeah and i was like wow wow oh wow girl you are, val girl you got all my respect every single bit of it she had hers natural mm. we're at four <laughs> minutes just four so minutes you know. okay so Next, oh, you're going to go, oh, Tom, thank you. Get the big some grub. Prosciutto later. <laughs> I want some prosciutto. <laughs> you mean you don't want pork belly? Yeah. Tom. Come on now. I know pork belly. I've seen you do some good pork belly recipes now. Yeah. I'll be looking some up too. Mm -hmm. um, so you're in Homestead to hang out. Uh, next is Nine Anchor Family Farm. So we're going to go over there and uh, play some Kahooted. That's going to be loads of fun. Yeah. Don't forget that Dale and Nana are hosting Angler April, April 2.0. I know he hasn't put the 2.0 on there. I just like to say that because it makes it sound. That logo is so I don't pretty. 2.0. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it is. You did an awesome Anything job. Anything please. <laughs> oh, Tom said, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's out. Uh -huh. I'm okay with that. Pork belly. Um, yeah, and I was watching something, Tom, and I know you're the guru that said pork belly used to be like the poor man's cut and now there's like more and more chefs that are trying to use that in a way and you know make it a really good a uh, uh, desirable cut of meat again so um troy said at make the pork belly great again at the yes. hashtag at the family reunion, <laughs> Granny used to sit in the corner and would giggle when asked what she was laughing about. She said, all y'all are here because I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Way to clear a room. Literally. Okay? Uh -huh. And just start talking about you and Grandpa. Yeah. You just, you're going to clear the whole room. Trust mm -hmm. me. Dale, Poor any... Billy, yes. Did Dale already is, leave? James. Dale, Probably. Any, any hints on uh, what uh, we're going to be playing on Kahoot? Because... I oh, need to know if I need to have test taking skills or if I can actually use my brain. <laughs> you may use, no, he's probably already gone. SpongeBob was my favorite one, by the way. Yeah. Um, a BTW. Mom was like, what's the answer? What's yeah, the answer? I was. Answer? I totally cheated <laughs> and still sucked. I, know, it's like, <laughs> I still came in yeah. like way. That's the thing. We're both competitive, but we will help each other till the end. I know. That is so Screaming funny. Screaming out answers to each other as we're walking the dogs like yes. separately. Yes. <laughs> well, I loved that. She was out walking the dog and I'm screaming, hit blue, hit blue, hit blue. I don't know what I'm hitting it for, but I'm hitting it because I'm taking the dog out. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> there is some meat on there, Joey. There Hush. is some. Yes. Yeah. Hush. It can, it can be good. <laughs> Joey is not really, he doesn't like the fat on anything. Anyway, we're going to let you guys go so you can get over there, get set up on Nine Anchor Family Farms, uh, get set up ahead of time. Get your cahoot. You need two devices, or if you're multi-talented like some people, maybe you can do it on one device. Uh, thank you very much for coming in. Tom Garvey, thank you so much for that super chat. I really appreciate that. That was super That sweet. was awesome. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Hope everybody has a good night. And let's go over to Nine Anchor Family Farms and play some Kahoot. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. All right. Yeah.
Love Excited. you guys. See Bye. <laughs>